kitchen and it looks like my bedroom when I was a five-year-old girl. Good morning and welcome to Hanoi, Vietnam. Today I'm going to visit five best cafes in Hanoi, Vietnam. They're all located in the Old Quarter, which is uh, an area above the main lake in Hanoi, Vietnam. It's up the north side of the lake. And our first cafe is going to be Cafe Din. Uh, they have really good coffees and it's supposed to be a really nice old French house. So I'm really excited and let's go. So this is the first cafe, it's called Café Din and they have really nice coffee and the building inside is really cozy and nice so let's go inside and try the coffee. Upstairs. So as you can see the cafe is tiny and cozy and there is a balcony which you can sit at because there are no chairs but you can go outside and look out all over the lake. So let's go inside and order some coffee and try it. So this is the coffee. That's a really good coffee. It's really strong. It's so strong that it almost tastes like alcohol. That was delicious coffee and it was only 20,000 dong for a black coffee and water so it didn't cost me anything and it was delicious. Let's go to the next place. The next place I'm going to is called Cafe Foco and it's known for its delicious egg coffee so I'm gonna have a nice egg coffee. And it's a bit of a hidden gem because you have to go through a, a clothing shop and then you have to go like three stairs up to this beautiful rooftop and then you can sit there and enjoy a delicious coffee. So let's go! Uh, 
So you order the coffee downstairs and then you walk all the way up and they will bring the coffee upstairs for you. Which is really kind of them because it's high up. <laughs> so they have to walk these stairs every time someone orders a coffee. It's beautiful. Such a nice view here. You can see the lake from here. It's beautiful. Now I'm gonna sit and wait for my coffee. So my coffee has arrived. Um, so every most of the time when you order a coffee in Vietnam, you get um, tea next to your coffee. I don't know why, but it's nice, so you can like wash the caffeine away. Okay, so this egg coffee looks really good. Let's try it. <laughs> So good. Air coffee is so good. It's one of my favorites. It's not too sweet, not too strong. It's just perfect. And it fills you up too. It's like a, a little snack, sweet snack. That's amazing. That's really, really good. And I'm gonna enjoy this coffee while I enjoy this amazing view. So happy I found this place thanks to my uh, local tour guide. Last time I was here in Vietnam, his name is Rafes. So thank you, Rafes, if you see this video. Thank you a lot. So I'm drinking this egg coffee and I'm wondering, like, why, how they invent an egg coffee? So I was looking it up and it turns out in 1946 there was like a big milk shortage during the french war so there was this guy called Nguyen van Giang. i don't think i'm pronouncing it correctly but because there was such a big milk shortage he whisked up the eggs until it got to this foamy milky frothy texture and that's how the egg coffee is invented and till this day it's just such a hit because it's so good actually so it was because of the milk shortage during a war but it ended up being the most popular coffee kind in Hanoi so that's very interesting this was also such a delicious coffee egg coffee and such a nice place to sit at um, so the egg coffee was 45,000 Vietnamese dong, so that's like 150 pounds or like 170 euros. So it's not expensive at all for an egg coffee. And they also have to bring it all the way up these stairs constantly. So those are really good prices. And the next cafe we're going is the Noth Cafe. It is a really well-known cafe. It's really popular because there's like post-its, like notes everywhere on the walls and the tables and everywhere. And I've, I haven't been there before, so I'm excited to go and check it out. Let's go. So this 
this is the next cafe and look at the queue outside. I think I just came at the wrong timing, but I'm gonna go in anyways and try to order a coffee and uh, see what it looks like on the inside because it looks really interesting actually, so I'm excited. order downstairs and then you have to go up uh, if there's still place. Maybe I'll skip this one for now um, and come back later. I'll go to another cafe first because it's just too busy here right now. So now we're gonna go to Loading Tea Cafe which is also a really popular cafe here in the old quarter of Hanoi. Uh, it's known for uh, the looks like it's based in an old French colonial building so that's pretty cool and the interior is supposed to be really nice and they do table service so I can just sit down first and order my coffee my third coffee of the day I'm starting to get a bit caffeinated but that's okay I also love coffee so I made it, it's okay. This is Loading Tea Cafe. Let's go inside. It looks beautiful from the outside already. I mean, that looks beautiful. That looks insane, actually. Let's go inside. So I moved my side to the I moved myself to the other side of the building because the blue room was really empty and there's a lot of people in here. Uh, and I think it looked like this room looks a bit nicer, so I moved myself. Uh, that's why I'm in another room, but it's still the same cafe, it's still loading to the castle. Get the milk coffee. Yeah, I'm gonna get the milk coffee um, iced because it's really hot. That's so good. It even tastes a little bit simple. Weirdly. Mm -hmm. 
That's really good. So it's just black coffee with condensed milk and ice. It's delicious. It tastes Christmassy. So good. I think this is the best coffee so far. Very good coffee and the cafe is really really nice. Like I have the feeling like I'm like back in time. Really nice. Highly recommend this place. So that was the best coffee so far and maybe also the best cafe. Well, I mean, it was just as beautiful as the Foco Cafe. Um, yeah, I think I would put them at the same spot for like interior and uh, views and stuff. But this was definitely the best one with coffee like the coffees were like was delicious it tasted like Christmassy very full flavor really good and it was 50,000 Vietnamese dong so that's like 150 pounds or like 170 euros again so that's very good price for such a good coffee and such a nice cafe so now I'm gonna go back to the Nose Cafe and try again, hopefully it's not too busy and get my fourth coffee of the day. I am so caffeinated right now, it's crazy. But I'm excited for more coffee and I'm really intrigued about this Nose Cafe that I'm going to right now because even from the outside it already looks really cool. Uh, so it's a really popular place because of this look but I'm really intrigued to see if the coffee is actually also good in this place. I'm gonna get a black Vietnamese coffee and that is the same coffee that I got the first at the first cafe and it's a, a really strong coffee so I looked up why it was so strong so apparently they coffee beans for 15 minutes on the low heat before they actually make coffee out of them so it's really a, uh, extracted coffee and it tastes really strong like it almost tastes a bit like alcohol that's how how strong the coffee tastes is but it's not there's no alcohol in there but it kind of tastes like there's alcohol in the Vietnamese black coffee because it's so strong but uh, yeah, I already had three coffees and I'm ready for my fourth one. Let's go. So I'm back at the Note Cafe and I'm ready to go inside and order me some black Vietnamese uh, black coffee, an iced coffee because it's really hot.
like my bedroom when I was a five year old. I like the to draw and put all my hang all my drawings so it's cute though. See the lake from here, so I'm on the second floor now, and I'm gonna go one more up to see if it's up there. So it has three floors full of post-its or notes or whatever you want to call them. Um, I see a nice place over here so I'm just gonna sit over here and enjoy enjoy my view at this crazy post-it cafe which is an insane tourist look um, cafe. <laughs> It's full of people and it was an hour ago and it was this morning when I walked past it so this is definitely a really popular cafe so I ordered iced black coffee Vietnamese coffee and I'm just gonna wait for it so I just got my coffee uh, I ordered a black Vietnamese iced coffee it looks delicious Let's try it and see how strong it is. Mm. It's really strong. Um, it doesn't taste alcoholy. It's a bit like a, a soury coffee, like a bit sour. But it's really good coffee. I really like it. Mm. That's good. And look at this. I got a great spot in this huge cafe. It looks beautiful. The stairs behind me are just insane. Look at all these notes everywhere. Younger, this would be my dream room. Really good coffee, not too so strong, um, full flavor, nice and ice cold. So, I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of my coffee with this beautiful view. In this crazy cafe full of notes. It's crazy. But it's nice, I like it. It's really happy. So I'm gonna leave a little note from Diana to Hanoi uh, 9th of Jan 
there you go. I'm gonna leave this beautiful note from me to Hanoi. Hanoi, I love you. I love you, Hanoi. This was really cool. Um, I'm gonna go to the Les Cafe. I really like this cafe. Uh, and the coffee was 38,000 Vietnamese dong, so that is 120 pounds or like 140 euros, which is insanely cheap if you think about it, how much coffees in the Netherlands or England cost. But yeah, this was such a nice and fun place to have a coffee. I feel very happy. <laughs> and I'm gonna go to my last coffee place and have my last coffee. And it's a good thing it's my last coffee because my heart is almost beating out of my chest and I feel like exploding. But <laughs> this was so much fun and I can't wait for the last cafe. So the last cafe I'm gonna visit is called Kong Cafe and it's right over there. Yeah. Yeah. Kong Cafe, it's like a more modern cafe than the other cafes I've been to. Hello. But I'm uh, thinking, I'm really excited to go there. And this was so much fun and I can't wait for this last coffee. And then afterwards, I probably have to take a nap because I'm going to have a caffeine crush. I'm so hyped up right now. Let's go to the last cafe. I think I'm never going to be good at crossing the road in Hanoi. I'm too chaotic for it and I find it too scary to just keep on going, walking. I think. So, this is it. Kong Cafe. Um. Okay, so you have to order downstairs where you come in. Over there. I got my number. Uh, I ordered a iced latte and then I have to go up where I can sit. Well, this is cute. You can see the lake from here. Um, it's smaller, like tinier than I thought that it would be, but it's really cute and it looks really cute and cozy here. I'm just gonna sit here and wait for my So I just got my coffee and it looks delicious. Very milky and frothy. That just looks delicious. Okay, so let's try it. That's really good. It tastes very milky, obviously, because it's a latte. But the coffee inside of it tastes really good. It has a really nice and strong taste. I like it. And I like this cafe too, it's really cute and tiny. It looks massive from the outside, but it's a really tiny cafe actually. It only has one floor and this coffee was 
fifteen thousand dong, so that is like one fifteen pounds or like one seventy euros, which is also a really good price. So that was it for today. I visited the top five cafes in Hanoi Old Quarter. They were all beautiful and the coffees were so delicious. Um, I really had a good time making this video. I really love Hanoi. Uh, it's such a beautiful city. The people are so nice and the food and drinks everywhere are just so delicious. Um, thank you for watching everyone and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you so much. Bye bye!